Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I wanted to share basically a vintage haul <laughs> um, that I have here today. Um, so all of these items are used and I thought I'd go ahead and share that with you. Um, I got two more of these um, little golden books. Uh, they're in pretty good shape um, that I plan to make some things out of. They're both the night before Christmas, but of course you can see there's a difference in the color of the cover. So I don't know if they were done in uh, done in different years or the same year, just different colors, but I did get two, uh, two books. Um, and look, they, they say 39 cents. I don't, I think I paid a dollar for each of these. So I didn't pay too much. Um, and then I have some vintage stamps and I um, don't recall, I think some of these were all in the same lot and then um, I had some separate. So I think these were all together and then these were purchased separately. Um, so this little, um, not little, but this stamp right here, I have one very similar to this. It is, um, looks like this, this guy right here, but he's balancing the other direction, um, just by himself. It's, it's kind of like that. And there's not a cat on his head. He's holding something. Um, so I got this one thinking it would be cute to have like a pair of them. So this is from Printworks from 2001. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And, uh, the name is the Candy Cane Gang. So JB3018. So that's a pretty good size stamp. Um, then this one is huge. I just like the image on the front here. Um, so sweet. Uh, this one's a Stamps Happen. Um, and you can see the original price. Um, this one says, We Believe in Angels, uh, 80176. And this, I don't know if it ever saw ink because it is pristine on the back. But it's it's uh, in very good condition. Um, this one looks like a Stampington, actually. Um, I don't think I have this Santa yet. Um, this is a Debbie Mom. D6016 is what it says. Santa and Teddy. Right there. I don't know if it's focusing. But there you go. And then that is, yeah, it is from Stampington. Does it have a year? Um, it doesn't have a year. So that is a Debbie Mum stamp. And then this one, I really like this one too. The Days of Christmas Heartwork, H7529. And then this is a stamp Passions and it's a pretty big stamp. I like this one too, just for the saying and the look of it. Kind of like a big quilt. And this is from 1997. It says R. Baxter here down in the corner. And then here's one that was 10.95 originally. Um, this Santa right here. Santa looks like a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> in this case, I know he's not, but he looks like one here. Um, this is from Rubber Stampede. Um, Country Santa A1441H. And so you can see him there. And then the last one is a snowman. And he's holding a star up. And this one is PS0572. And it is from Outlines rubber stamp company oh Hampton Art um sorry I was reading the right hand side um yeah so this one this one has any ink you can see but not a problem for me I can clean it off I haven't cleaned any of these stamps yet so um that's what I got in my vintage stamp haul now I'm going to take this video and hook it to another one I think um before I post it so um yeah I'll be back Bye for now. Hey everybody, I'm back with another wood stamp haul. All right, so you're probably getting tired of these, or maybe not. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd go ahead and share what I got, and these are from a lot of different sellers, and some of them are on Etsy, and some of them are on Facebook, not Facebook, um, 
eBay. Uh, so let me get started. First off, I want to say hello to Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Um, I purchased something from her shop, which was this apron um, stamp, and it is by whoop, uh, Anticipations um, from 2001. There is the stamp on the end. Um, and then she messaged me and she said, you know, I just subscribed to somebody on YouTube. Um, are you the same person by any chance? And I said, yes, that's me. <laughs> so, uh, hi, Nancy. I'm glad you uh, have become a subscriber. And thank you for this stamp and the little extra goodies she included. She saw my videos and knows that I'm collecting Lots of different gingerbread goodies. So she sent me this little guy. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. Um, it is from Hooks, Lines, and Inkers from 1993. And there is the, it's called the Cookie Kid, B09. Cute. I love that. And she also sent me some little, um, cut pieces which are uh, cork made from cork so there's a little three I think in there three gingerbread in there and you can decorate them there's some instructions in the back I have not opened this package yet look it says country cookies so um, there's some instructions on how to do all this so it'll be fun to try that out thank you Nancy again for this little extra treat I'm excited to try those um, Anyhow, and her store is on Etsy, by the way. Let me see if she's got... Um, ah, it's called Sky River Designs. So I will show it briefly, and you guys can see if... Go over to her shop and see if there's anything you would like to purchase. There we go. So there you have it. Thank you, her... Oh. It shipped very fast, too, and she's on the other side of the U.S. from me. So, it did get here really quickly. All right. Um, now, I don't know where I purchased these. I uh, think I got this off eBay. This is a very big stamp, but you see what's in it? Lots of Christmas cookies. So, it is another frame. And this is from a company I've never heard of. Um, Sunlight Impressions. There's the name. And it only has this at on the side. GS464-P2. So there's no name, but look how cute it is. So, yeah. Really, um, condition is fine. I don't know if it's ever seen ink. Then I got this one from a different seller. I just purchased this one stamp from this uh, seller, I think. I'm trying to think if this was with the, with the other one. But, um, yeah, there's no markings on it except for who owned it before. <laughs> I like the coffee cup or the hot cocoa mug. I've been looking for one that's a, a smaller size just for little, you know, little tags. So I did get another 30-piece um, set. This is called Seasons of Heart, and it is a dot set. The, the the packaging is <laughs> less than desired, um, but at least it has the name of the set on it. And so you can see this one is all sort of um, hearts for all the images. And then you can see a couple of different um, sentiments in there. So this one, I know it's kind of hard to see. The sticker's coming up. It is a border with a heart that's um, kind of in the corner. But I will just hold it there and you can read pause the video and read the sentiments if you want but like I said I like having these really small images um, in this style and I don't know that uh, much of them have been used I don't want to turn this upside down because they'll all fall out but you get the idea here's one that's called frosted cookie this is an old Stampin' Up set and I bought this for one of the stamps in here this one right here because I thought this would be good for like a recipe card. Um, and this is a big heart cookie. But you can see there's a bunch of different sort of Valentine's 
sentiments included here. Um, some sprinkles and flour. Um, but yeah, I bought it for this particular stamp in the set. I found it for a good price, so people want too much for these old Stampin' Up! sets. Um, I got some more big block stamps. Uh, these are both Darcy stamps. Um, here is a lemonade one. I did get a lemonade recipe. I don't know if it will fit in here. It might be too big. But I might have to hand write it in there, maybe. So this is called... This is from Darcy's... Um, ZZ3802. And it was originally... $16. So, lemon, Lemonade Bear on CK. What's CK? I don't know. Lemonade Bear. Alright, here's another one. Um, this one's more of a cooking one. The other one was more of a, like a drink one. This one's cute too. Um, another Darcy's Let's see, ZZ4156. And there's no other markings on it, so I don't know what he's called. And then I found this one, which is really cute. It's like a it's it's a quilt, basically. Quilt border. Um it was originally 1350. Wow. Azadi Earls M902. So I really like that style. All right, here is a Diana Markham one. Um, this was actually in a lot of several stamps, like there's multiple stamps in it. Um, but I just wanted this one, I think, out of the lot. I don't remember which other one was in there. For some reason, I think there was one other one I kept. But um, gingerbread greetings. Uh, and this one is F. 4388-1999 Gingerbread Greetings Banner from Stamp Passions. Um, I do have more of her stamps. I got a I got a Halloween one. Little spider in its web. This one is from 1998. Um C4200 website. <laughs> website. Oh boy. Stamp Passions. Uh, let's see. I think there's one more. It's Halloween, so eat, drink, and be scary. That's another 1998 one. And look, there's another spider. Uh, it's Halloween, and it's D4205. I do have another Halloween stamp, but it's not a Diana Markham one, so I'll just go ahead and continue with that. I got these three little ghosties. Look how cute they are. See, I... I think I could do cute Halloween, but scary Halloween, nah, not really. This is a Dots, and it says Haunted Trio Fun. F, nope, that's a P, one, two, three. So that's for the Halloween. This was a thank you stamp that was included in one of my orders. It's really cute, so I decided to keep it. Um, it doesn't have any markings, so I don't know who did it. Uh, one more Diana Markham. Let Heaven and Nature Sing. This is from 1998. It was $9.90 originally. Um, Let Nature Sing is what it's called. F4222. So, let me continue with the Christmas ones. I think this is a Darcy one. And um, it is from 1997, L1758. And then I've got this little mitten here. It was part of a lot that I purchased. It is a PSX B658. It doesn't have a name, but it was $4.95 originally. All right, here's another gingerbread one. See him hanging off the basket on the side? Um, 1993, this is um, Annette Watkins, um, F1239. And there's no name on here. So really, really cute. 
All right. I have another one. This one is a gingerbread banner. This one's a um, PSX from 1999. There it is. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, and there we go. Gingerbread Garland. G2630. This is in excellent condition, by the way. There's nothing on there, but um, if this ever saw ink, I'd be surprised. Some more gingerbread there. Uh, another gingerbread. This is a big one. <laughs> um, I don't think he's ever been inked up either. This R167 cookie is the name, and it doesn't... Oh, JRL design. And then we've got a snowman with cookies. These are adorable. I really need to get to crafting, but I've been trying to um, clean up in here a little bit. Darcy's R2384. Cute. Lots of gingers. I Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something, but forget it. Um, now, I know this is one of a set. I think this is a Stampin' Up um, set or part of a set from Stampin' Up because I believe there's like four different angels and they're all different styles I don't know the name of the set originally but I just got this one because it was part of a lot that I was purchasing one of these stamps here came with it um, but it is cute sort of like your patriotic angel anyway that's what I got for you today that is my haul and thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.